So we are in the middle of an ICR rescue. <laughs> um, as it would happen, it was fine this morning. Yeah, it was weird. So yesterday it was juddering like nobody's business. Unfortunately we didn't film it. Um, <laughs> we will next time we break down. Somebody suggested we film it. We'll film it next time. Um, so the gentleman thinks that because the, the mounts are all really secure, that perhaps it is the fuel. Yes. And Kath actually said yesterday, because it was really windy, yesterday, come over here, because it was really windy. I got caught in a bit of wind. Um, just yeah, before so the got, lock. So got my, I got, yeah, so I, it didn't even feel that windy. It was really weird, but my, the boat ended up in that kind of position across the canal. Um, this is the nose and I couldn't get it to go over no matter what I tried so I was giving it a bit of a on the engine so maybe um, something went wrong so we've had a diesel leak for a while or oh, the whole time Since we've had the boat before we bought the boat it came in, up in the survey yeah we looked at it we saw it in our defense um, two people have looked at it and tried to fix it so it's not like we, we've ignored the fact that we've got small diesel leak. But we were putting, in it, putting it in to get black so we thought we'll just deal with it then. Yeah because the guy that's black in the boat is also a um, beta marine engine specialist kind of thing because he's got that on the side of his workshop so he's going to take a look at it for us. So this time the guy's come and he started it up and it's not juddering and um, I keep looking at the engine to remind me. Um, he couldn't really see much wrong with it so the only thing that he can kind of think is that the where the fuel was leaking, that maybe one of the injectors wasn't getting enough fuel. Yeah, so, so far he has um, just given the fuel injectors a quick clean. dilly-dallying in the lock but as I mentioned um, so we did some work last night on the paint I don't know if you can see properly here but can you guess if it was the side towards the back or the side towards the front that we worked on comments in the box below please great army of swans. Yes, I saw them at the window. <laughs> Did you see them attack the bike? The bike people? No. The bike riders? What happened? Um, well, one guy just, he said something about KFC as he zoomed past and this, the, what I'm thinking is probably the male swan, probably the male swan took offence to it and like went him and then his, the person that was travelling with him, she was like, I'm not doing it. And then this one went home as well. Oh, what's down there? I wanna walk down there. Maybe we'll walk down there on the way back. Probably won't go. So I'm sitting in the stern steps again, but the difference is We're moving. We are moving. 
I don't know if you can see Kath there. We've been to the pub, we've had a drink, um, a fantastic guy from RCR, his name was John, he came out and he got us moving. And it turned out that it was the fuel, um, it was a fuel leak and so it was making it judder quite violently and he cleaned all that out and he changed the oil filter as well. Recommended that we go on a course. <laughs> we should be doing that. We're gonna get to Fenny Compton now, just because I love that name. Fenny Compton, she sounds like some sort of... Um, Fenny Stratford sounds like Fenny Compton's auntie from like a, a cowboy and western movie. <laughs> I'm gonna hitch it good and then we're going to moor up for the night. We have to find somewhere really quiet and safe for the cats because they've been in all day. Mind you, they are still in bed so I think they're fine. Um, and then we will be on our way tomorrow. So thanks for watching. Please click subscribe, give us a like if you've enjoyed it and we will see you tomorrow.